This is the new Nano Rain Jacket. It's new to the collection in Autumn Winter 21. So this is the, the first time we've had a membrane garment, a membrane fabric garment in the collection for a while. And we developed this fabric from scratch because there wasn't a fabric, uh, a pre-existing fabric available on the market that, that had the functionality that I wanted. So we built this from the ground up. So there's two measurements of breathability and both of these measurements are, are somewhat related. There's a RET rating and the RET rating is the amount of vapor pressure you need to build up internally for a membrane to start breathing. If you have a high RET rating, you have to build up a lot of vapor pressure inside a garment, which is essentially hot, damp, internal climatic conditions within the garment before it starts to breathe. So from a functional point of view, it's uncomfortable, it feels sticky and clingy. Uh, and then the second measurement is the, the sort of more widely talked about grams per 24 hours per meter squared, which is the degree of how much uh, water vapor you're getting through the garment. Now, you can have a high grams per 24 hours per meter squared, i.e. you're getting a lot of water vapor through the garment, but if you have to have a high vapor pressure to get that breathability, then again, from a functional point of view, that's not a comfortable membrane. So we really focused on getting the lowest possible RET rating for this garment. And it has one of the lowest RET ratings on the market. Um, I found the membrane originally from a Czech manufacturer uh, and they have a nanotech membrane and that means the holes in the garments are at the nano level. Um, there's obviously billions of them in each membrane, but they're very, very small. So what that means is because you have this huge number of holes, huge number of tiny pores in the garment, you don't need to build up a vapor pressure to get the, the membrane to work quickly. Um, and then the second component of the fabric is the DWR. So, so the, the second bit of sort of functional um, information about a membrane garment is you can have a very effective membrane, you can have a very breathable membrane, but if that membrane wets out on the outside because the DWR has failed, from a functional point of view, it'll feel like the waterproofing on the membrane has failed because you're getting wet inside from sweat. Um, so a wetted out membrane, the, the breathability will drop right off or, or stop altogether. So you have to have uh, extremely good DWR with an extremely good membrane to get functional high breathability and functional high waterproofness. Now, Gore have gone down the route of an external membrane that reduces the DWR issue, but then the issue, the, the sort of secondary issue from that is a durability problem. If the membrane is on the outside of the garment, it's a, it's a thin plastic coating. Once that starts to rub, rub off, there's no way back. Uh, and this garment sits in our UTR range, it's our trail range, so durability from the outer surface, for the outer surface of the garment was important for me. I wanted to be able to wear it with a pack. I wanted to be able to take a bit of a beating on the trails without having to worry about rubbing off the, the membrane on the outside of the garment. Um, so to go back to the external face of the fabric, so we've got this, this nano membrane, uh, very, very low ret, very, very good functional breathability. And then on the outer face of the fabric, this comes from the Italian mill, the, the highly technical Italian mill that we developed our all weather jacket and ultra jacket fabrics. Same double application DWR, once at the yarn level, once at the finished fabric level, which means the DWR is, is the best there is in the market uh, by, by a long shot. So that keeps the membrane working really well, that keeps the functional waterproofing high, it keeps the functional breathability very, very good. Uh, and also gives you the durability of having an external face fabric as opposed to an exposed membrane. Um, the cut of the garment, so it has this very tailored cut to the sleeves. So the sleeves have a lot of shaping in them. They're banana shaped. So when, you're, when you have your arms up in the running position, that gives you a very, very comfortable sleeve. Um, it has a gusseted construction of the underarm. So this is gusseted under here, which again gives you a high degree of mo mobility. Um, if you're moving around um, and a four panel construction on the body just to wrap, to shape around the body nicely. Um, there's an elastic draw cord at the waist. So 
that allows you to, to increase or decrease a little bit of ventilation if you want. You can open the draw cord if you want a bit more ventilation, close it if you want to, if, it's, if you've got chill conditions. A large pocket at the back, which can hold a phone or gels or you know, whatever you need to take. And then the next feature of it is it's the first garment we've done with a hood. So this one, we've done a lot of work in making it fit securely but still giving you a degree of comfort and mobility. So it doesn't feel like it's wrapping your head and stopping your head moving naturally. And also it doesn't feel like it's, it's wrapping so tightly around here, you're gonna get a huge heat build up in your head. So yeah, if you want one of the most breathable uh, and waterproof garments on the market, um, this is the, the, the jacket for you.